welcome to the satellite communication course today we will learn model 2 in which we will learn that the satellite subsystem so in this uh, satellite subsystem there are the two components we are learning one is about a altitude and orbit control system so how to control the altitude of a satellite and how to control the orbit of a satellite so that is about altitude and orbit control system we are learning and this can be controlled using the TTC command so now uh, we learn here the how this altitude and orbit control system using the TTC command and what are the other factors required to control this altitude and uh, orbit of a satellite so in which we will learn the subsystem component so in a subsystem component, we learn that TTC command, or a, we can say that we learn that what will be your power system or a power requirement to be fulfilled in a satellite there. Then we learn the a communication subsystem there, communication subsystem component, and we'll learn here the antenna equipment and antenna subsystem there in this topic then a satellite subsystem is again we have two components one we learn a control system and another is about your satellite link design so in a satellite link design we should know that for a given transmission how much will be the budget analysis or how much will be the leak analysis there so we know that we should know that what will be the noise generated what will be the noise generated in the link and how that noise can be minimized using the transmitting the signal label there so for that purpose we should know that for a transmitting link or a for a receiving link from our station to the satellite or from the satellite to our station so that is about a uplink and a downlink so for this uplink and downlink how much is the power required power required means we can say that what will be the gain of the antenna in the earth station as well as in the satellite so that at a receiver we can find out a signal received with respect to the noise so we consider here the carrier to noise ratio for this satellite link design so that is about your model 2 we will learn that how we control the altitude and the orbit there of a given particular satellite so what are the instructions required or what are the major components required to control the altitude and a orbit there so generally for a satellite there are the main elements and that main elements or we can say that for a satellite communication so we require the few main components and that few main component that will connect the earth station to the satellite and satellite to earth station so in that case we consider the main element of the satellite so in which we should know that the earth segment earth segment means what the earth station for the earth station what will be the antenna used to get that much gain so that we can transmit the signal now we consider that for the given earth segment so what will be the output signal to be transmitted from the 
अर्थ स्टेशन देन अर्थ स्पेस मीन्स वी कैन से दैट ए अर्थ एटमोस्फियर और वी कैन से दैट एंड इन एटमोस्फियर देर इज सम लिंक एटमोस्फेरिक लिंक एंड दैट लिंक इज नथ बट वी कैन से ट्रांसमिटिंग फ्रॉम द अर्थ स्टेशन दैट सी ए सिग्नल ट्रांसमिटिंग फ्रॉम द अर्थ स्टेशन टू द सैटेलाइट और फ्रॉम द सैटेलाइट टू द अर्थ एयर सो दैट इज अबाउट ए अर्थ स्पेस लिंक टू योर सिग्नल ट्रांसमिटिंग थ्रू द एटमोस्फेरिक रीजन so if our signal is transmitting through the atmospheric region so in that case what will be the propagation effects occur on this particular link so whether your signal transmitting from the earth station to the satellite or from the signal transmitting from the satellite to the earth so what atmospheric effect occur on this particular uplink and a downlink signal and then another component is of a space segment and if space segment is nothing but what it is a satellite and earth segment is nothing but what we consider that is the what a atmospheric effect in in a space or we say that a propagation effect in a space there so now these are the basic three components that will define you the a satellite subsystem component now to understand the satellite subsystem component we should consider a specific orbit so to understand a specific orbit So, geostationary satellite is a fix that will be from fix from the Earth station, and that satellite transmits the signal for this particular fix component or fix Earth station there. So that's why we consider here the geostationary satellite, or we can consider here the geosynchronous orbit. So we learn the satellite subsystem component using the geosynchronous orbit and a geostationary satellite. Why? Because the satellite position is a fix. Even if any changes occur in that orbit or altitude of satellite, so that is to be corrected. But if we consider that satellite in a low Earth orbit or a medium Earth orbit. then in that case what happen the satellite moving around the earth it takes a 1 hour or a 1 and 1/2 hour for the rotation in the case of helio but for the new satellite it takes a 6 hours to the 12 hours for moving satellite around the earth so means here the changes in the period but in the case of a geosynchronous satellite it looks like a fix and it moving around the earth okay it is just like it looks like a stationary but it's rotating around the earth with a speed that speed is depending upon that whatever the earth rotation speed that is about the same velocity is the same in the old system if you see that that altitude and orbit changes because of that weight of the satellite so means we we have learned that when satellite rotate around the earth they have the force that will move towards the earth satellite move towards the earth is nothing but orbit and that is about that force is called as the gravitational force and this force is what that will keep or move away the satellite from this given orbit so this f1 and f2 
this f1 is depending upon the gravitational constant or a gravitation of the satellite and this one is depending upon the velocity of the satellite so this factor f1 and f2 is same so in that case the satellite will be moved in the same orbit there but due to the weight this force may changes okay and the factor of what when we launch a satellite to a specific orbit so we require a more power or energy or a more thrust to launch those satellites and that weight is depending upon the a transponder weight is depending upon that transponder and in the transponder what are the components present that is about we say a antenna transmitter we have a receiver modulators and all those components are present in a transponder there so for a specific application if we say that audio or a video application so we need a different transponder for it means our satellite system or our satellite they have a lot of transponder available and that is depending upon that applications of the given satellite so means because of that large number of transponders available in a satellite so that weight of the satellite is increasing and then weight is not only the transponder weight is again increases because of that a power system components available that is about we say a solar panel or we can say batteries or some fuel that will move the satellite in a given orbit when you require if small, small changes in the orbit occurs so then using that particular fuel tank available and using that fuel tank or fuel to that satellite position is to be changes there so this total overall weight of a satellite depending upon the various components of a satellite there in general we say that a subsystem component we are learning here a satellite subsystem and that subsystem components have the design or we can say that divided in a two groups and that two groups are what one is about we can say it is about a payload and another is about a support subsystem is about a payload and a support system now this payload if you see the payload so that payload is consist of what how many transponders are there payload is nothing but for given applications your system work that's why how many transponders are present and what will be the antenna how many antennas we require for those given applications and these are the main components of the satellite subsystem and this component will tell you the applications or we can say that this component will generate the revenues for the satellite there so these are the components that is the earning component of the satellite subsystem because they are providing the different use or a different they supporting the different channels or a different different of applications there but in the case of we say a support subsystem component so we will learn that what are the other parameters required in this satellite subsystem so major subsystem components 
major subsystem component of a satellite are a transmitter system then a antenna system then a power system the telemetry tracking and command system and altitude and orbit control system then a thermal system then a satellite structure now these are the major components of a satellite so we how we should have this a satellite sub system component that is the transponder antenna system then a power system that is about a solar panels or a storage batteries there telemetry tracking and command system to send their command or identify the position using the sending the command or verifying the signal level or signal strength there then this altitude and orbit control system and that will verify that how much will be the altitude and then according to the thrust or we can say that fuel available that will be control orbit will be controlled there altitude and orbit will be controlled there then the thermal system because the solar panels are used there we say they get heated if supposed to be more radiation occur so other components get heated that's why we require a thermal subsystem component and then we have a satellite structure so that structure depending upon that what will be the your payload and all so that structure will be changed. that is about a major subsystem component so if you see the satellite configuration so in which so you will see those sub system component so we need a sat in a satellite configuration so it has a antenna system and that antenna system we say generally we require only a one antenna no we require that antenna for the transmission as well as well as for the ttc command to send the ttc command so we require the that antenna so various antennas are used in the antenna system and then we have the transponder here and that transponder consists of a receiver it has a component of a because uplink frequency and downlink frequency is different so that's why we require a frequency translator and then this one these are just like a basic component we are just providing that or we are just saying that these are about the components of a transponder and the power system that consists of a storage batteries we say storage batteries and then uh, they have the various solar cells 
or a solar panel and then we have the power conditioner here so that is about a, a satellite configuration in which we have the power system component and then we consider that a telemetry and tracking command that is telemetry tracking and a command system that will control the all the components there telemetry tracking and command then we have the main component that will control the altitude and orbit control there altitude and a orbit control system and that it has a mechanism for the altitude verification or that command is given so that altitude and orbit is to be measured there so for this changing that altitude and orbit so we have a fuel system or propulsion system that will generate a particular thrust to control the altitude and a orbit of a satellite so now all all other components if you see that we have the receiver and the transmitter that is connected here to the antenna system similarly we have the telemetry and tracking telemetry and tracking command system that will be connected to the antenna system we have only not only single antenna various antenna so it can be of a dish antenna or it can be of a dipole antenna that various structures of antenna used in a tracking system in that case that will receive the command from the ground station regarding the position of the satellite so in that case that position of the satellite can be changed there then all these transponders because the commands received from the earth station command received from the earth station so that's why whichever the changes occurs or whatever the problems in this transponder there or whatever the components are not working that particular command or that information given to the earth station so that the telemetry tracking and command system will communicate to the earth station regarding the whatever the problems in the given particular system so we require a power system for all these components there or we we require a power supply to all these components there so that will communicate to the that will give to this all these system components there. along with that we require a satellite bus and then we say that a thermal system now these are this, this one is nothing but a satellite configuration that is to be used in the satellite so now we say that for a given particular transponder we say that receiver that is about a frequency translator then a transmitter and all these components are there and that components are work in the different band so that transponder will change their frequency of your signal or we can say that a frequency translator is there or that signal level can be modified or whatever the received signal received by the satellite they can be modified and translate it and again retransmit it. 
So in that case, on a transponder, so this one they, they have the onboard processing unit. And that onboard processing unit that will modify the signal or after modification they will send or they will be that signals may be modified with a different band so that they can be transmitted because we say that the uplink frequency and downlink signal frequency is different so that's why a frequency translator we require because then uh, uplink and downlink frequency signal is different so that's why we have that antenna receiving signal and antenna transmitting system okay both which you can say that antenna is receiving the signal and antenna transmitting the signal that signal is frequency is different means we say that different band or a different frequency signal are transmitting by this antenna system so that's why your particular antennas will work for this specific band of a frequency there so this antenna when we can say that it can be used as a transmitter I means satellite will use only as a transmitter so in that case that antenna possibly cover the large area or they possibly generate the power or you can say that they they have the higher gain so to generate that higher gain and all or you can say that a area coverage so that's why we can consider that the about a shape of a particular beam that will be transmitting that will be transmitting the signal okay means we can say that beam means what that is about the antenna beam width coverage again it will related to the antenna beam width. so that system or this particular antenna system will work or will provide that particular coverage area or that particular beam there because that we say that the transponder has the many one number of a transponder that will be used for the different applications various applications so your transponder and a antenna they will work for that given particular frequency band so your antenna your satellite payload is depending upon that what are the what will be the components in the antenna system and what are the various transponders used in the satellite there so means if we consider the various applications of a satellite so in that case we require a various types of a transponders similarly we can require a various types of a antenna there various antennas we need to be used so then that total requ power required for the given particular system is depending upon that what are the various components in the satellite the number of transponder increases power requirement will be large because a payload is increases so these components are increases so that's why the power requirement will be larger so this power system is to be generate that much power through the solar cell or they may have or they may have generate or they may have store the power supply whenever there is no direct radiation of a sun on this panel at that time that batteries will work so we have learned we have seen eclipse there a shadow from the satellite shadow from the earth on the satellite because of that eclipse and in that case that solar panel will not will no longer it is to be used because it requires the light to be fall from this particular solar panel because of that shadow no solar radiation will reach to the solar panel so that's why in that case a battery is to be used 
so we require a large capacities of the batteries or large power generated by this particular or store by this particular power batteries or large power to be generated by the solar system so that your payload whatever we can say that your system or satellite will work for this particular large power application and if you take a example so how much is the power requirement for the given satellite so we'll proceed here with a one example of a intelsat satellite <coughs> here we have the one example of intelsat 23 and that satellite launch in 2012 and it has a weight of what 3200 kg that is the port weight of the satellite and it generate a power or you can say that a power requirement that is about a 4.8 kilowatt of a power and it has a a transponder and the transponder carries 24 three band and 15 ku band transponder means a transponders they have a 24 number now uh, example of this intel sat that weight of the satellite it is about a 3200 kg means 3200 kg and it generate a 4.8 kilowatt of power and it will work with a two different band of a transponder so in this case 24 c band of a transponder okay 24 transponder that will work in a c band and a 15 transponder that will work in a k band so that is about number of transponders are 24 plus 15 but with a different band of frequency so means payload if you consider that that 24 band and 15 k band that is nothing but a payload of a, a satellite there. so that but that many transponders are present in that intel sat so that's why this one is the example of intel sat i think intel sat 2b okay so that is about a satellite here so we can consider a satellite and all so means for a given particular applications which require that many transponders in the satellite so we generate we need to generate a high power we need to generate a high power and that high power can be generated using the a solar panels okay we require a solar panels that will generate the high power so we require a large number of a solar panel or a, we can say huge solar panels or big solar panels to be used to generate that large number of a high power and again we have the batteries and that batteries to be work or that batteries to be generate that much of a power or the, that may have the backup power in the case of eclipse or in any other case that solar panel not work okay at that particular situation that battery is to be used then uh, if you consider this one a telemetry tracking and command system and that telemetry tracking and command system that provide the information of this whatever the components are present in the satellite information means what health system health 
health of this particular compound is how this whether these compounds are generate that much power or this transponder that much that generate that particular power or that devices fails suppose we say that it has a hundred of a transponder for example I'm saying that hundred of a transponder there for example so out of that hundred all the transponder is not not to be used only 50 is to be used and 50 is to be kept okay side so that whenever there some transponder not work so that transfer it is to be used there okay so that is about we we need to prove that telemetry tracking command system will provide the information about the health of the whatever the components present in the system there so that health as well as that they will track okay we can word here it is about the tracking tracking means what what will be the orbital position of the satellite or what will be the altitude is there and how much is the correctness of this altitude is required this what we say altitude correctness so this telemetry tracking command system that will track the position of the satellite and using that position of a satellite they will correct that altitude and they will correct the orbit that will be corrected through the ground system component means ground command send means whatever the position is available or what are these devices available that health information is to be sent from this TTC command to the earth station through this antenna then earth station will give the command to use that particular transponder or to move the satellite in the given particular position using the propulsion system or using the power batteries or change the position or a most movement of this particular satellite that altitude or that particular orbit and that correcting that altitude and orbit using that command chain from the earth station to the satellite so we have the lot of transponders available sometimes some transponder is not work if it supposed to be if it fails then standby transponder is to be used in that case and that standby transponder will work throughout that particular life of the satellite the so satellite life or you can say that reliability everything is depending upon that what components are used in the given satellite there so that we can find out what will be the reliability or what will be the mean time between the failure so we will consider these those satellite life and that mean time between failure okay probably while we consider the all the components in the satellite and then uh, we have this altitude controls and all that will provide you the position of the orbit and the altitude there. then a thermal system is present in the satellite configuration because sometimes there may be a thermal imbalances due to the high temperature or due to the high solar radiation from the sun or the satellite panel facing toward the sun okay means perpendicular in that case they will be facing the problem of a temperature imbalances there and that's why we need to minimize the temperature of those components to zero using the thermal subsystem so this thermal subsystem provides provides a balance or they are maintaining the temperature of all the sides of the satellite there okay that is about a role of a thermal system and that a structural system or we can say that a satellite structure that structural system that provides the support to all the subsystem components 
mechanical okay so this is just like a structural of this particular satellite and that is about a satellite configuration